matchup for the UFC flyweight division title. So here he is, the number one flyweight contender, looking to change that title here in 25 minutes or fewer and leave as the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. What a run of contention it has been for this young man. He has put together a long winning streak. He's got the finishes to make the fans happy. He's done everything to position himself for this type of championship opportunity. Now, under the lights, we'll see what he can do with it. So here he is, the UFC's reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion, making the walk for another defense here tonight. And if he wants to be mentioned with some of this division's greats of all time, and really with some of the greats of all time, this is one he's got to have here tonight. As the title defenses start to pile up, you can be mentioned in the conversation with guys like Demetrius Johnson. So here we go, another title defense here at 125. We'll see how it goes for the reigning champ. And now our tale of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Our rounds for the undisputed UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, six losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at one. Ting, the challenger, Alex Perez. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses, and two draws. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Brandon the Assassin Baby. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. 
All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand Make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Kick to the body by Brandon Murray. How good is that right hand? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Oh, big head kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Under three minutes now to go on the round. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Changes levels now, DC. Oh man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's tr now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He should be defending right now. Chase the submission finish. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right to the mount. Moreno getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Real quick leg kick. Seconds left. Oh, misses with the jab. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And there comes the separation now. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. 
both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. All right, DC, second round is getting Good underway. Fight. Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what you saw in round number one. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, he lands a huge kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Right hand punch from the clinch. It's wide open, Logan. Sneaky head kick. Okay, you're okay. Try to establish that jab. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, that's a nice strike. Head kick lands. Defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Brandon Moore. Right hand punch from the clinch. Left hand punch from the clinch. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Can't take many of those, you better check. And both guys really throwing with authority. Great punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Great posture control by his opponent. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Hands up. Kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Right punches there. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 
Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. All right, single collar tie now. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Final seconds here. Nice strike. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, you. those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, so back to back entertaining right, rounds. Right. We'll see how it goes right. in this round. We'll see which corner right. sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the score. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Connects with a right. Oh, big elbow. That one snuck in. Nice play. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Right hand punch to the clinch. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Brandon Murray. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Nice punch, man. Over the top. Just over three minutes now to go. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Whiffs on that offering. <laughs> Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Oh. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining.
Moreno is able to transition back to side control now. Final minute. Five seconds remain in the round. striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. The cut's not an issue at all. You're barely bleeding. It's okay. Focus on the fight. Do not worry about that. All right, we got five minutes. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Punch is blocked. Look at the damage inflicted by that element. Straight punch lands. Get behind that double jab. Nice uppercut by the champion. Oh, he eats the knee there. That does not taste good. Right hand punch the clinch. That shot blocked by Brandon Murray. advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Use your Come on. Visibly limping here. Good punch land. What a beautiful takedown. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Three minutes remain in the run. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Moreno's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kabor is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure 
that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. What a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain. When you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're going to break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, the UFC flyweight champion of the world, and what a way to get it done and leave with the gold tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 42 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by top out due to a Kimura. And still, the undisputed UFC highway champion of the world, Brandon the Assassin Baby Marino. So how about that effort out of the undisputed UFC flyweight champion? He defends the belt successfully by way of submission here tonight. And what a moment there in the corner as they celebrate this latest victory. It is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this champion at 125 pounds.